What is up everybody and welcome back to another episode of Paladins. Today we're going to be playing a Charlene. As you can see I just played a game we did get defeat. Um, but we played really well. So we got 88,000, almost 90,000 damage. 24 eliminations, 7 top kill streak, 3 solo kills, 88,000 damage like you just saw. And um, yeah. So pretty much what I'm trying to do is get all my champions up to, or most of them up to mastery level 4. Um, because then I can unlock competitive play. And I think that'll be pretty cool. So yeah, we're going to be playing as Charlene today. Hopefully get doing some pretty cool stuff. And uh, yeah, I will see you in the game. And uh, yeah, don't go anywhere. Here, make sure you hit a like, subscribe if you think you're going to enjoy the episode. Smart and uh, yeah, champion. that'll be brilliant. I will see you Charlene. in a minute. Okay, here we are. So these are Charlene's uh, legendary cards. We've got uh, the Recurve Joy, both 15% faster, which is really helpful. Um, so I think that's the main one I'm going to use forever. Like, I'm probably not going to buy the, any of the other ones. Um, I do need to make a uh, set of cards for this guy, but uh, we will do that later on. Like, later. I haven't done that yet, because I've only played him twice, and I generally don't do it the first time. The first time I generally check out if I like the character. If I do, then I'll buy cards for him. So, yeah. Pretty cool. Um, what I'm going to get is Kronos. Uh, no, I think I'm going to get Haven for... Oh, Life Rip. I think Life Rip could be useful. Um, the reason is because you can just stand at the back and hit people from far off with Charlene. Uh, so Life Rip will be really useful. Um, and then probably next I'll get some um, uh, some Haven. And then I'll probably get some Kronos. So, you know, it should be pretty good. should be really good. We're going to stand up here. And there is... Wow, that was Cassie. That's surprising. Well done, Cassie. Um, <laughs> right, so that was uh, awkwardly bad. Um, but I didn't even realise I was getting hit by Cassie. I thought I was getting hit by Knessa or someone like that. Um, but there we go. We're going to move off to this way and should be good. Very close to dying. Alright. Oh, she just moved out the way of the pillar. Died there. Okay, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Not good. Yeah, we were gonna die. That was obvious. We were gonna die there. Kronos. Let's get that. That'll be useful. I think that was too badly. I mean, we did a lot of damage to different classes, which is always very useful. Obviously, if you're a damage class, you want to do damage to as many players as possible, and then your other team can take them out. Oh, so you know, you don't. It's not necessarily about taking characters out. It's about putting the most use into your team as you can. You are gonna die. Oh my God! It's Maeve. Was it Maeve or Cassie or someone that killed me? Who was it? I think it may have been Maeve. Nope. There was a Mave on my team. No, the Mave was an enemy. Okay, that's that's great. Um, right. We want Wrecker to deal with Ruxus' shields. Um, and that'll be useful. Is 
wasn't the best. Wasn't the best. I'm not gonna lie. It wasn't. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't very good. Um, but there we go. I did did a lot of damage at the start. At the start of it, we were doing really well. Um, and then once we got that first death, we kind of went downhill from there, which is uh, always the difficult part. So that was a uh, kind of not the best. But there we go. We need to use this Q ability more. Because it's really fucking useful, especially if you're getting rid of Ruckus. Um, if he uses the weak shields, the Q shield, you can use this bit ability and you'll pretty much definitely kill him. So it's very useful. We've got our flank Alex. I don't know if he really did much. Um, and Drox as well. And then uh, Makoa and uh, the tree guy. Is it Grok? I think it's Grok. Yeah, it's Grok. It's not my dad, but it's Grok. Uh, he should be taking the point, but uh, I don't know whether he was. Who was that? It was Lex. Okay. Damn, damn. I wanted Lex is one of the guys I want to level up and train as, because uh, it'll be good practicing as Lex. Uh, Lex is a cool class. We did play as him before and I wasn't very good at him. But uh, hopefully I'm a bit better at him now. Who knows? Get a move on. Who's that over there? Get a move on. Flankers, 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 flankers. Move from there, because uh, Cassie's going to see us. Your sight fails you. We were going to get wrecked by those three. Uh, or those two. They were both on us, Lex and Maeve, which is uh, a very difficult team to deal with. We could have used our cube again, but I completely forget about that card. That, uh, Completely forget about that ability, but there we go. Uh, so we're escorting the payload. Good. And that that's good, that's good, good, good. Alright, here we go. No one Crap, here we go. Wow, I just got my Q in there. I just got this planted thing on there. Oh my god, Maeve is so good if used in the right hands. She really is a very powerful class. I will pass judgment. Mm. And she's especially hard to hit with classes like Charlene, but then if you get hit on and off, off on her. Damn it, I was aiming that for Maeve, but of course she went. Damn it, Maeve, pee off! Yeah, and I swear and drops and they're like, they're like, he's like, oh, they're meant to be flanking. Oh my flipping god, it's always Maze. Really, team? Can Androx or someone not flipping just deal with her? Or anyone on our team? Because I cannot deal with her. Or Lex. Flip in hell. Enemy killing spree. Thirty seconds remaining. Try to get like a last minute dive shot off there. Oh, for God's sake! <clears throat> See, I can attack people from distance, Nine, just not close eight, up. So flip in hell. That's whatever our six, our Lex and that much could be coming in to do four, things. Three, two. Overtime. Unless they're fidget asses like those two. It's gonna end anyway. Oh dear God, this is not going well because of flipping Maeve. She's killed me like five times.
points. I was like, I'm not a flanker. Point spawning in 15 seconds. Ah, the arguments. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, stupid guy. Why is he picking flipping Androx then? Pick someone like, I don't know, uh, Victor or, you know, someone with a flipping machine gun that can do really well with things Bring like this. Out the big guns. I will oh my god. Maeve again. And I can't deal with Maeve. Like, Charlene cannot deal with me. Like, I, I can kill Maeve sometimes. Just not when she gets in my face. She's a really good flanker. Like, there, there's no face in this. This player is a very good flanker. And I cannot deal with her when she's close range like this. An enemy is unstoppable. Crap, here we go. Alright, and what does this episode teach you guys? That people should play their flipping roles. Mm -hmm. That's what it teaches you. That people should play their roles. So if a flanker's a flanker, they should play as a flanker. If you don't want to play as a flanker, then a player's Victor or Tyra or someone with high firepower, you know? I love Cassie sometimes. And there you go. That's what happens when your team don't play the right classes. I mean, it wasn't a great game for me anyway, but I couldn't really get much in there considering every time I got near the game, I got completely smashed. So this is actually, I'm actually going to upload this. It's kind of like a lesson to people to play the right, like, if you're a flanker, flank. If you don't want to be a flank, then don't be a flank. So yeah. Thank you very much for watching. If you have enjoyed, please make sure you hit the like button and subscribe for more Paladins content. Hit the notification button to get notified every time I make a video. And check the links in the description. All of them are pretty useful. I will see you later. Thank you very much for watching. And goodbye.